Hi, it's James here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the at symbol in Google Docs. So you might think, what's the at symbol? Why would I need to know what to do with the at symbol? Well, the at symbol is a shortcut to lots of features that can save you a ton of time. Look at this Google Doc. If we hit the at symbol, this menu appears, and this allows me to insert elements into a document, interactive elements into a document, very quickly and easily without me having to look for all the options through the file menus and finding links to link to documents I can do it very quickly this way so if you look straight away you can tag people into a document you've got some building blocks these are templates that you can insert we'll go through those you can quickly insert files into here you can always click on the expand button to find a file if it's not listed straight away insert checklist numbers media images dates and headings calendar events and all that kind of stuff you can get to things really really quickly like tables and stuff like that so let's go back up here and click on let's say click on meeting notes so meeting notes, I've clicked on it and it's now found some meetings that are going to take place in my calendar in the near future. And it's asking me, basically it's letting me add the notes that I'm going to create in this document to that calendar event. So if I click on the Wayne Enterprises one, you can see this is on the 20th of May and it'll show you the attendees that are invited. And I can stick some notes in here and I can stick some action items in here so I can maybe want to assign some stuff to people to do before the meeting takes place. I can do that and I can hit share and attach. That will share the document with these attendees and it will also attach it to the calendar invite that they've received too. So they get that in their Google Calendar as well, a direct link to this file. And let's go back, undo all that and let's go and check the next one out. So the next one is email drafts. Now this is great because people have always wanted to collaborate on emails and this lets you do it easily. So let's, uh, let's put a, someone in here. Let's put Chloe in as the to address. Oh. On. Let's put the at symbol in first and then put Chloe in and let's put this subject to something nice and original like test and hello Chloe this is a test James now I could be working with someone else on this document as you do in Google Docs and they could be editing this email and we can just get the final touches get that email and the tone just right for the way we want to send it once we're happy with it I don't need to copy and paste it into Gmail like you'd have to do previously I can just click the Gmail M icon up here you'll spot this a gmail window opens compose window and everything we've just written in this uh, template here has been transferred into an email i can hit send and off that goes to chloe there we go close the window because it's been sent and that was a really easy way to collaborate on an email without having to do any copy and pasting from one google doc into an email like you did previously let's back up a level and do all this stuff and we'll do another at symbol so here we go at now we've got two other options here. There's going to be a lot more of these building blocks coming out. At the moment, you've got a product roadmap and a review tracker. So let's click on the product roadmap. So in here, I could put a list of a project. These are just some examples. You could actually create your own table and do this as well. But I could put a, a name of a project in here. I can put the status of that project, any related files I can link to. So I could go down here and say, OK, I want to link in uh, this document here. So the link straight away. And I could also tag somebody in maybe if I want to assign it to them uh, and give it a name. And then Chloe will get notified of that. She can come in here and she can change the status or leave any more notes. But it's a great way to collaborate on documents and just keep a uh, focus and track on what's going on in a project. And you can now do that easily through the at symbol. Let's just undo all that stuff and do another at symbol. So as I said, there's gonna be more building blocks. You've got the review tracker, which is very similar to the product roadmap where the reviewer can put their contents in there, they can put the status and they can put the notes. But like I said, you can build this stuff from scratch too. So if we go and do an at symbol, um, what I could do is I could go down here and I could say, okay, I want to insert a table very quickly. Just pick what the table looks like. Um, I could then say, okay, in this, in this box, I want to go and put a, a checklist in or a number list. Um, I may want to put a date that's automatically updated all the time. So I could put tomorrow's date in there that will go in there. Um, if we go back to the at symbol, we can go through here and do our headings. Um, but we can do other things, say like product assets, which I don't actually know what that looks like. So I'm going to go and create a new table and do that one in a second. But here's where I can create drop down menus. So I could have a project review status one. They're, those are some that are pre built, so I could create my own new drop, drop down. But I can build that all into a table and then share it out. So you can quite custom, customize this and put in the interactive elements where you want. So let's go back and have a look at the uh, that one that we I hadn't seen before and let's see what it does. So let's scroll, scroll down and we will go to the launch content tracker. So there we go, another quickly built table for you 
with some options there and this is quite a, like, kind of good for social media management and if you need when you're putting stuff out so you can see if it's published or not and have a link directly to the content again tag people in and put a published date in there really quickly so if it's something I've published today I could just do the at symbol and put today's date in job done so really really cool this at symbol is and it's worth trying it and using it because it's going to save you a load of time with these building blocks that it does and there's more coming inserting files dead quick so if you go through there you can see all the options you have highly recommend use it using the at symbol in google docs as i said it will save you a ton of time and more and more stuff's coming it's all about automating making things better for you